Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Many people have asked if hydroponic plants can be transplanted into soil. So today I'm going to take you along and show you the process. Here we have two very large plants. It's basically just outgrown this container. So I'm going to take the smaller one and I'm going to transplant that into soil and I'm going to show you exactly what I do. Let's take this outside and remove the plant out of this arrow garden. It's gonna take a bit of work to to get the root to come out because check that out. That's a ridiculous amount of roots there. Okay, we are outside and before I take this guy out, let me uh, explain a few things that would help the success to increase the success of transplanting. What you should do is feed it very little uh, amount of water. So you just let the plants run on very low amount of water like from the bottom so that it can promote more of the roots to come sort of like the cracky method where when the water drops the roots would grow out and down further to try to collect water so that is basically what you should do just feed it very little water from the bottom and what it does is here is it would force the roots to grow down and do that for a week and you would notice that at the top, those are the white roots that would start to extend down. And those are basically the air roots and the bottom roots are water. So when you transplant this into soil, the water roots will die back and then the air roots will basically take over. And some of the roots will transfer over, but uh, that's normally what I do to try to increase my success. So try that out before you transplant. So here we go, let's do this real quick. Okay, uh, taking the plants out is going to be a very challenging part. I'm just going to pull it out and then I'll come right back and show you guys. Okay, uh, that took a bit of work to remove and I did damage some of the roots but um, there's so many it should be fine. Here's what the plant looked like. Look at that. The amount of roots there. And what I'm going to do is cut this out because I don't want this to suffocate the plant or um, prevent any kind of movement of the plant so I want it to be uh, nice and free out of those uh, restriction so I'm gonna cut that out okay I just basically cut it down here and you can still reuse this uh, this is pretty tough so I cut the bottom and then this but the net cup would still be okay to reuse and here is the plant all ready to go so we are now ready to transplant so let's go over to our soil and uh, transplant this real quick okay we're ready to transplant so I got my potting soil here ready to go I used the manure and compost and I added some perlite and here's my plant what we're gonna do is try to dig a hole as deep as possible and then we're gonna fit the roots in and then surround the soil and you want to fill the soil until the plant become nice and sturdy okay now just water the plants down and clean it up Okay, that's it. So that's how you use transplant from hydroponic to soil. So uh, we'll come back in a, in a week or so and check on this and I'll update you guys. Okay guys, it has been exactly two days and the plant is going through a little bit shock. So you would notice that the leaves are a little softer than usual because it's still getting adjusted. The roots are still trying to become soil roots and be able to gather some water for the recovery process but um, it's, it's still alive just give it a few days so um, I'll come back and then update you once it has successfully recovered but uh, if you notice that it has a little droopy leaves and a little, a little soft that's just fine then they just need to get adjusted so you need to monitor though the soil and make sure that it's nice and moist a little bit wetter than usual because uh, 
as the roots are getting adjusted it needs to have water around okay it has been two weeks and the plant is looking terrible <laughs> it's going through a lot of shock during the transplanting process and it dropped all of the leaves but don't worry it's fine still it, the roots just need time to get adjusted um, the first thing you will notice is the leaves starting to curl then it'll dr start dropping and if you keep maintaining the soil at a moist level and train the roots to get adjusted to soil it'll start to slowly come back so all of the leaves the larger leaves will be uh, falling off and if you have buds those will be falling off as well but uh, just give it time and it will come back and as you can see it's uh, it's basically shed everything that it it needed to shed to stay alive and uh, now it's gonna start to go through the comeback process so regardless if you have trained the roots to get adjusted to air by leaving the water level low the transplanting process from soil from hydro to soil will still give your plant a shot all right guys it has been exactly 25 days and the plant is making really good recovery it's actually looking a lot better than what it did before so it's on its way to full recovery and uh, within a few weeks all the little leaves will start to grow back all of the new shoots would shoot out some more and the plants will start to produce once again it actually even has some flowers already but those may not even make it until the plant recover fully so as you can see the transplant from hydro to soil is possible it just takes a little bit of time and the plant needs to get adjusted so you have to condition the roots by monitoring the soil very often if it's too dry you need to moisten it and uh, it'll come back so uh, it can be done so anyway uh, the plant is looking good it's recovering so it will come back very soon so there you have it guys i hope you guys like the video if you have any questions or comments please leave them below and thank you for watching